Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at the performance difference between the Core i3-6100U and the Core i3-7100U in Cinebench R15. So this is a CPU-based uh, rendering application, and we're using this because it's very good at utilising multiple threads. So you can see here on this dual-core hyper-threaded processors, um, it uses four threads simultaneously to build up the image. And what we find is between the two chips, there's only a 3.2% difference in performance. However, that's not really to be une uh, unexpected, given that the CPU cores are very similar between Skylake and Kaby Lake. Um, you know, Kaby Lake is really just a refinement of Skylake. Uh, and the key difference between the two chips is actually just that the Kaby Lake chip has 100 megahertz extra on base clock. Um, there is no turbo on this, uh, being an i3 part. So from a 4.5% increase in clock speed, we're getting a 3.2% increase in performance. That's not really unreasonable, and especially when you consider these are in the same power budget as well, they are both 15 watt chips, that's really, okay, it's not perfect scaling with clock speed, but it's around about what you'd expect. So if you have a i3-6100U based laptop, you're not going to be rushing out to upgrade something with just because it's the newer KB Lake chip, but there is a small performance improvement there. I hope you found this video useful, and um, be sure to check out the other content on my channel. We have lots of gaming videos with both Sky Lake, Sky Lake and KB Lake based chips, so be sure to check them out and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more from us as we post it. Thanks for watching.